Hey guys, we're just moving on to the next part of the Pixel Control Enclosure build. Uh, we'll go about mounting some of the hardware up on our baseboard to fit inside our enclosure box. Uh, hopefully it's nothing too strange, but I thought, oh well, might as well film it for you people. So, as I earlier talked about, uh, there's the baseboard. First thing we're going to mount up is just the uh, power supply. I've um, just set him out before the baseboard in the enclosure where I located everything and I've just marked some holes so I'm going to drill them out. Uh, obviously these two are for the power supply and these ones here to use, use for some standoffs for the receiver boards. Now just a little bit of a trick, remember I talked about the strips I've mounted in there for the uh, locator. One of them was right where I would be, I just sort of notched it out. So we'll drill some holes, we'll screw the power supply down. Oh, actually, we might put the uh, little string, the four string receivers in first, and then the power supplies, and we'll see how it all looks in there. And then we'll mount our pans up inside, and we're making good progress. All right, we'll just drill some holes. So it's just the two holes done for the um, power supply. Just got to give me a rotation right. And we've got the three holes for each one of the receiver boards. We'll put a little bit more accurate with these ones. So we're just going to use the little Stand off just helps raise everything up in case some moisture does get into the bottom. I should probably be mounting the power supplies a little bit higher up, but I'll take a risk on that. You could if you wanted to, I suppose. Mount them up. So, yeah, I've just drilled the holes. Nothing special about that. Um, just talk about some of the little standoffs. There's pretty all straightforward stuff that you can purchase. Uh, I got these from David AV Audio Visual Displays, I think from Queensland. I'll put a link. I'll do what they do in the videos. A link down below uh, regarding where I got them from. I'll just move that drill out. Let's make sure you're in shot. Yep, so, um, so they're going to be mounted there and there. Um, quite straightforward, I hope. So I've got two different length screws, the longer ones for the go through the baseboard and just screw the little standoff into place. Just uh, three for each. Just a bit of a burr on that hole there. It's eight MDF. It's Easy to work a bit extra. Just screwing the standoffs on. And the next standoff for that board. Now these have just got little plastic, these are just little plastic standoffs, the three mil. Little plastic three mil screws to go with them. There's one. Um, I have left myself on this layout on this board. Also, if I want to fit a uh, F8 power distribution board, um, I could mount that um, over here if needed. I haven't fully decided if I'm going to utilize it or not yet. I haven't fully decided on my layout, honestly. Um, I'm pretty close, but I'll wait to see if I need it yet. I think I will, but it won't be hard to make a, an addition 
to this. One of the reasons I went down this path of using a, a baseboard is that you can actually remove it quite easily. Um, just disconnect everything, lift it out if you want to move stuff around if you're not happy with it. I think that'll work out alright. Those holes could have been a bit bigger. These little screws, I think it was a three and a half mil drill and the wood, the MDF just closed in a bit. Probably could have drilled them a bit more. So that's just the M2 there. Uh, so they should, hopefully you can see, I'll just check the shot. Yep. Um, so we will just, I will mount them like such. Um, I'm mounting them with the power supply up here. Like that. Um, so I can have the power leads coming in direct to here. Uh, a lot of people do put them that way. You have to loop it around. And then you've got the pigtails coming out over the end. Covering up your fuses. So I've just been start, starting to mount my boards. Oh, excuse me. Uh, that way. So we'll just uh, quickly screw these down. Uh, with the little short screws. Once I find my screwdriver. There's nothing really technical about this, I don't think. Just lining everything up. Um, but we will, in a minute, mount the vents, mount the power supply, sit it in there, and you can have a bit of a look. Do what you think of the layout. Um, so these are just my ideas of it. No doubt there's lots of other ideas around. I'm not saying always the right way or the wrong way or anything else. It's just um, one of my ideas. I'll probably change. What am I going to do with the short screws? So guys, in respect to fitting the vents, they're pretty straightforward. They just got the, uh, the little rubber gasket to help seal. Um, I haven't put any seal, I'm not going to put any seal onto anything, and I think it should seal up nice up against the back flat edge really well. So it's just nice and straightforward. The vent goes in, and we put the locking ring on the back of it, like such. And just got our locking ring, just tightened up, nice and square. And I've also fitted the other vent. And just trying to show you here. This so this was our vent. If you recall from the front on our layout when I was drawing them out, I just had this molding to be mindful of so that clears nicely so that there in the back there so the locking nut doesn't foul on it and we've got our fan screwed on ready to push the air out so that's nice and straightforward okay so then we're ready to start wiring everything up which I'll move on to the next uh, movie thank you